guys, welcome back. This is going to be part six of the Neo Geo. Uh, let me show you what I did. Um, I put the board back together. I put the cover on it. Um, I replugged in these uh, um, data cables, whatever you want to call these things. They're really super long for some dumb reason. So I kind of just have them folded and put in the middle so that I can reach up on each side in order to unlatch the control panel. Um, now, the uh, bus to move is not working. Um, I tried it in different slots. Uh, something's wrong with the cartridge. So I did order another one. I found one from somebody on Facebook Marketplace. So I ordered another one. So hopefully that one will work. Um, it says it's working, showed pictures of it working. So hopefully it will be good there. Um, so the select button is working. It is scrolling through the three or four games. Obviously it's skipping over bus to move right now. I even took the cartridge back out of there. No point in leaving it in there if it's not working. Um, I took, what I did for now is, this is the newer power supply. I left the old one in there off to the side. This is the new one. I just put two screws in there and the fan comes out the back and everything and there's the plug. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I don't know if I'm really going to uh, mess with it or not. Um, I still have to bolt the monitor in, so we got to do that. We got to put the screen bezel or the cardboard around the monitor and then put the glass on still got to do t molding got to put the control panel together and i found out that player one is on the left side and player two is on the right so um <clears throat> what i need to do now is i want to get this control panel put together first and then get it bolted to the cabinet so that we can start um you know getting it all plugged in and then we can get the screen on the around the monitor and everything. We get all that finished up. Start buttoning this thing up, and then we'll be on to the Sinistar. So I'm gonna unwrap this uh, Plexi here because I think we gotta put this on first with the carriage bolts. Try not to scratch this. Um, I went through the games last night on here, and I turned the track sounds off because almost all my games down here do not have a track mode turned on because it just gets a little bit too loud for me with all those games running at the same time with the track mode going. So I usually turn them all off. Now, what's what I always I find funny about this game is all these carriage bolt holes are huge, and all the carriage bolts that came off of this are not as big. So I don't know why that's like that. Did they at one point have bigger ones in here and somebody switched them? I have no idea. But let me get my carriage bolts and nuts out here so we can get this bolted in. Or maybe they, you know, it just doesn't look right. I mean, I'm sure I can cover it good enough. Yep, that's pretty good there. But I almost wonder if I have the wrong size carriage bolts and if I should run bigger ones in here. I do have bigger ones. You know, I'm going to go get bigger ones. Normally, I like to try to use all the original hardware, but it's not covering that square hole all the way. So I would rather just use a bigger carriage bolt. Now, the ones I'm going to have are probably not going to be painted. They're going to be black, and they're going to have a little bit of writing on them, but that's not too big a deal. So let me go grab some new carriage bolts. I don't like these ones. Okay, I got these bigger ones here, so we'll see how these fit in here. They're a little bit longer, but they're actually a nice tight fit now. I forgot to grab a wrench so I can tighten these, but that's all right. carriage bolt too actually take six not five
I wonder if this end one's going to uh, interfere with the wood up there because it's long. Might have to cut it down. But that's really not a big deal. See if I have a wrench here. I do. Okay, I'm gonna go grab one more bolt and then we can tighten all these up. Okay, let's get this last one in here. We'll tighten all these down all the way. This overlay also came from Joe Zabo. In case anybody's wondering. Now you don't have to crank these down real tight and you probably shouldn't because you could probably run the risk of cracking the plexiglass or Lexan, whatever he uses. Okay, beautiful. Now we can start putting the buttons in. I think I have to put the buttons back together. I'm not sure if they're still apart. Um, no, I already put them back together. Okay. And the order goes, I looked online at a bunch of pictures and it goes red, yellow, green, blue. According to all the pictures I found. So A button is red. So we'll start with that one. I want to make sure that I put them going the right direction so that my wiring's kind of going towards the back. So I just want to check here and make sure that this has to go this way. Is that right? The low one in the back, the high one in the front. Yep. Okay. Now these are all original buttons. I soaked them in bleach and simple green. For a couple days, I took them apart. I did not soak the springs, because if you soak the springs, they will rust. So I took the springs out, I took them apart, and I soaked them for a few days. And they actually cleaned up. They look pretty much brand new. So it's nice being able to use the original buttons. Oh, really, these nuts are kind of hard to get on on these ones. Don't know why. Probably gonna grab my tool so I can tighten those. So next ones are our yellow ones. Same direction, I wanna put the buttons. This should go together pretty quickly, this part. green and I don't have blue I wonder why all the pictures I saw online had blue buttons I wonder if I should put blue buttons in there or put the white or did I look at the wrong one hmm. I'll have to double check I mean I, I probably have a set of blue buttons that we could put in here if that's what it's supposed to have really don't know. 
but clearly we had white ones before. Maybe somebody changed them. I did notice that two of the leaf switch buttons on here on this wiring harness are black rather than white like all the rest. So it is a good possibility that somebody put new buttons on there. Maybe the other ones were broken or something. I'm going to go grab my wrench for these and I'm going to check a couple more pictures and see if they came with any white ones or were they supposed to be blue. I know the buttons up here are white. Player one, the right start, left start, and the select should all be white. Well, I looked at quite a few pictures and it looks like they're all blue. So we're going to put blue in. I wonder if these will fit. Yep, they do. This is just my button, my uh, tool to tighten the nuts on a micro switch button. I don't use a lot of micro switches. Pretty much all my games are all leaf switches for the most part. It's nice to have this tool because it really tightens them up, keeps them from spinning. I wonder if the old nut will fit on this so at least all the nuts match. Yep. Get our last blue one on here. Now we can pick out our best white buttons, but they all look to be about the same. Yeah, they all look good. We use these three for our player one, player two, and select. And then I turn these sideways. Or maybe I should face them that way so that the wires come out this direction. I don't want the wires coming out that way and possibly getting pinched when uh, the control panel gets closed. We'll put them on an angle maybe. Then after that, we can start to get the joysticks uh, put in and stuff. And then start putting the micro switches on these buttons. Um, I am missing a screw right here. One of the two screws is missing that holds the uh, circuit board in there, the credit board. So I'll have to find a screw, which looks like it's a machine screw. I probably have one. Must have been, you know what, I think I remember it being loose when I took it apart. I'm going to angle this one this way so that the wire comes back into the control panel. Okay, all our buttons are in. Now, this is gonna be our player one on this side. Um, and I labeled it up. So this, it goes this way, because that's the up position. So what we're gonna do, I think, is take this piece of bubble wrap, and we're gonna put it on top of this stool. I'll move the camera here in a second and we'll lay it like that. So then we can start um, putting the joysticks in and stuff like that. We'll move this light. I don't know if that helps.
helps or not. Yeah, that helps. Okay, so now we can start putting these, mounting these joysticks and everything in here. So I want to use the player one on the left side. Make sure it says player one. It says player two up. So it goes this way. Player one up. Just like that. I have to cut these zip ties. Let's see if I have another one of these screws over here. Hopefully I do. I think I do. Yep, I think I found one. Get my drill. Put this circuit board on so this is out of the way. Okay, now we have button D. I don't know if it was labeled on here or not. Yes, it is. So D is blue. Okay. This says player one, player one select. So I meant to just put select because there is no... Uh, Player one or player two select. Okay, select game is right here. I'm gonna have to cut this one zip tie, it looks like. And of course, I don't have cutters over here, do I? Yeah, I do. Can always re zip tie it if I need to. I put this button in backwards. Not a big deal. Just loosen it up and spin it around. Probably didn't need to cut that, but that's all right. You always want to put your low peg in first and then your upper peg second. Spin these around while I have this out. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm spinning them in the tightening position. Okay, so this is going to be our player one. This is off. I need to adjust that. It's hitting. There we go. This one going? Yes. Okay. So there's our, here's our C button. This is the different color micro switch. So for some reason it was on C that was a different color. This is start, player one start. Well, at least getting stuck in that uh, uh, test screen. Help me figure out where the buttons go. Labeling them. Lab labeling them. Okay, I need to find the nuts so that we can tighten down these joysticks in a minute. But let me get the other buttons on. So those are all on. So now we just need to put the four nuts and washers or whatever had on these back in. So now let's put these switches on. This is our A button. Of 
course, the tape got stuck together. Yeah, if you put the bottom peg in first, they go in real easy. If you switch it around and you try to put the top one in, it's real hard to get it in. This is our player two start. The, well, it looks like I positioned the wires pretty good, or the buttons good, because everything seems to be lining up really well. I cut that one zip tie, which I probably didn't need to, but it's fine. I don't even think I'm gonna put it back on there. It didn't really loosen anything up. So we have one button left to put on, which is button D. Beautiful. Okay, those are all on. Now we are ready to find the nuts for the joystick. Pour them out on the ground here, all that hardware. Find my washers, because I'm pretty sure it has washers. And it looks like they use a star washer too. So it almost makes me wonder if I should put a flat washer and a star washer or not. The star washer would bite better into the plastic without the flat washer on there. I think I'm going to do it that way. Be less likely to back off. Because if you have a flat washer, this star washer is just biting into the regular flat washer. So it's really not doing anything. At least this way, the nut and the plastic will both bite into the star washer. So I got all eight star washers here. After we get these uh, bolted on, we're going to get this uh, control panel bolted to the cabinet. And then we'll put the uh, joysticks in after it's bolted on the cabinet. Take these pieces of tape off of here. Now I gotta find my nuts, which I think are these right here. Yep. I'm gonna have to get a socket for those so it doesn't take me all day to put them on. Five, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a socket real quick and then we'll put these on with the drill real fast, to save a little bit of time. I actually grabbed a nut driver because that socket might be too wide and hit. Um, these nut drivers have a hole through the center so you can get the stud will go through the center of the nut driver. These should work pretty quickly. And you can act, these ones are actually pretty cool because you can put a ratchet on the bottom of them or on the top of the handle rather. And I did find the plug for the test switches on the on the uh, coin door. So I can plug those in.
Almost time for the basement tour again. Get that Sinistar together, I'll be ready to do a video. We'll turn all the games on and we can talk about them all and kind of give you an idea where I got them from. And most of them I remember. Um, kind of give you the prices I paid for them and what kind of shape they were in. Then I got to get working on that Donkey Kong that I'm going to turn into a Donkey Kong 3 for that guy I know. Um, want to get that done in the next week or so for him. I got to paint it red and stuff. Okay, that's all bolted in. Now I have my washers and nuts here for the uh, control panel so we can bolt that to the cabinet. So I'm going to come over here, hopefully you can see what I'm doing, and we can get this bolted in. This wire here needs to go down there. These wire, these cabinets are kind of, wires are kind of everywhere on these things. I still got to put some wire straps on. It was kind of nice leaving all those micro switches on the wiring. It just saved a bunch of time from having to plug everything back in and be a lot harder to figure it out. Okay, let's tighten these down. Um, I think I need to shift it that way. Let me loosen these up, see if there's a little bit of room for shifting, because it's real tight on this side. I don't know if there's any room for movement. I don't think there's much. No, it must have just favored the one side. It's just really close. Must have just been how it was. Must have been how they drilled the holes from the factory. I don't really like that, but that'll be fine. It's not like I'm going to open it all the time. I got to put the latches on still, too. Okay, that's done. latches here that need to go on those go underneath here like this there's two screws that hold it on on each one Let's see if I can find the screws that they were used I believe it's these ones here screws here. I'm going to get my skew driver, wherever that may be. That'll make it a little bit easier. Make sure I put them on the right way.
Okay, those are on. So now I think uh, we should probably do the, get the monitor mounted and stuff. And then we can put the glass and everything on. So I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way here and uh, reposition the camera. Okay, um, I have these pieces of wood here that go around the monitor. And to be honest with you, I kind of forget how they went. Um, I really don't remember. Oh, you know what? These ones hold the glass like this. Okay, I had to take those out in order to get the monitor past it. Okay, these ones are for the side. And then I think this one just sat on the bottom or the top or something. Um, I really don't remember. I'm trying to remember. Looks like the glass came out. Um, I'm not sure yet. It's been a while since I've taken this apart. I do know that these go on the sides. And I know that this monitor was just screwed in there with regular screws and washers. Which I thought was a little bizarre. I don't know if that's how they were originally. But they literally used like drywall screws. That's what was in there. And they're only about three quarters of an inch long. And they had washers on them. I have no idea if that's right or wrong. But uh, maybe we should... Uh, I don't know if I should put a heavier screw in there or not. I think I have some. I don't really trust drywall screws. Exterior screws that look like drywall screws are fine because they have a, a stronger shear rating. But a regular drywall screw does not have a lot of shear rating. So if you want to, you know, if you're putting cement board up or something like that for tile in your house, you don't want to use regular drywall screws on it because it cannot handle the weight. So. I'm surprised that I think somebody must have put those in because I, I don't really see the factory doing that. So I have these screws here, which are a much stronger screw. Um, so I just got to put a washer on them. But I just don't really see the factory doing that. But they might have. I mean, I don't know. Just seems really odd to me. Might have to get my bigger drill. This one might not be strong enough to put these screws in. Monitor is not in all the way. Hopefully this monitor fits okay. A different one that was in here, but shouldn't matter. These usually are all the same. Bottom's not in all the way. There we go. Still out a little bit though. What am I hitting on? There's a nut hitting on a piece of wood right up in here on both sides. The bottom's tight right now. Just trying to make a mark so I can see what's going on in there, where it's hitting at. Barely hitting on each side. Oh, wait. I see it. I can see where it's hitting at. I wonder if I can get my saw in there and cut it. It's literally like an eighth of an inch. I don't think I can get my saw in there. I mean, if I have to just let it hang out a little bit, I can. Just put a little longer screw in it, but I'd rather have it go all the way back. This wood's pretty soft. Maybe I could just carve it a little bit out with my knife. Or, to be honest with you, probably take out that extra nut on the back of the bracket because there's four more on there. 
six more on there. So I could probably just take out these two outer nuts that are hitting and not worry about it. Of course, it's a smaller size than I have out here. So let me go grab a wrench for that. Okay, it's just a 516 saw uh, bolt head. See if this will fix the problem. Because we have these two braces here that go on an angle back, and then there's still a screw on each side. So taking this one out on each side is not going to affect anything. I don't know if these all came with them, the polo monitors or not. sides in all the way this is hanging out a little tiny bit but so is the bottom okay bottoms in there we go now we're in now we can put our screws back in I'm gonna use this other drill to get an extension for it thought I had one over here That's all right, that should work. Okay, those are in. Now we can figure these out. Just like that. And they go that direction because the back's not painted, so they have to go this way. So these are the longer wood screws. I have to go find one more longer screw. Looks like I'm missing one. All right. Let me check here. I have, just have a bunch of short ones. And they're not long enough, the short ones. So I guess I'll be going to find a longer one. All right. Okay, that's in. Now I know this goes in here. I think it sits behind those cleats. That kind of just sits in there. Not a very good looking fit, but I just wonder if I should get some double sided tape because that's got a bend in it. I think I'm going to I'm go grab some good double sided tape. We'll put it on these couple spots to hold it and then. Uh, 
we could wipe all this down before the glass goes in. Now, this other piece of wood, for something in my head, I think I remember it just like sitting in here, but I don't know where or how. Well, maybe it goes like this. That's it right here. There it goes. And then the uh, glass sits on front of it. And it was just sitting in there. It wasn't even bolted in, screwed in or nothing. So let me go grab some double-sided tape. We'll get that fastened to the monitor so that it doesn't bulge out like that. Okay, I have this real thin double-sided tape. This stuff is about the same thickness as a piece of scotch bright tape. It's just some real thin tape. So we're gonna put a little bit on these couple spots. I think I'm just gonna run a strip along the bottom and top. And this stuff is sticky. Good thing about it is it's clear. and I can reach back here and peel it now. I can always make a new one of these if I need to. But with the tinted plex or tinted glass, I don't think we're really going to see much of it. Okay, so now I want to try to position this. Not bad. That looks a little crappy up there, but we'll see how it looks with the uh, glass on there. I need to get some more paper towels. I got some here. We might have enough. I want to clean off this screen real quick again. And then we'll clean off the back side of the glass. Still a little dirty. That yeah, could have came off the cardboard actually. There is one little nick in the glass. And I, I don't know where it came from, but it is what it is. Okay, now grab the glass, wipe off the back side of the glass. This glass is filthy as you can see. So I'm going to get the back side of this wiped off and then I'll come back and we'll slide that in place. Okay, I've wiped the back side down but not the front yet. Eh, the cardboard looks, it's okay. Eventually I might make a new one. Still got to vacuum out the inside of the cabinet at the bottom. We've got to put some straps in still for the wiring. Okay. Uh, there should be a strap that right here, this has got to get screwed in over here. There's a hole there, so I'm guessing that's where it got screwed to. 
but it seems a little tight, so we might just make a new hole next to it. sticks in so we need to slide it in from up underneath gotta find the parts for it the actuators and stuff which are all right here gotta find the uh here's our dust washer i wonder if this yeah this goes on top okay i wonder if i have the eclipse might have to get new ones I don't know how I lost the Eclipse, but I think I did. I don't see them. Huh. Good news is I have a whole bunch of them. They must have gotten lost in the uh, parts tumbler. I wonder if I threw them away. I, I, threw, I throw away the media every so often for it, and I wonder if it got tossed. Well, it must have sifted through the strainer. So I'm going to go find two Eclipse for this. Then we'll put the joysticks on. Okay, I got my Eclipse. So I put my washer on. The sleeve is on. Um... We have these that have to go on. These go on first, and then we slide it up through, and then this is our actuator. Uh, the fat side, I believe, makes it four-way. The skinny side makes it eight-way. I believe, or I could be backwards on that. Let me. I'm going to check before I put that E-clip on there. Nope, other way around. The fat side makes it an eight-way, because then you can hit both switches at the same time. Okay, so now I need to hold this joystick and push down on it so I can get this E-clip on. Okay, yep. Okay, so the fat side is eight-way. Washer here. tighter than the other one. There we go. Okay, those are on. So now we should be able to shut this. Hopefully that, uh, these two uh, carriage bolts, I think, might be hitting the wood. Yeah. They are. But I don't know if it's enough to worry about. Let me try latching it and see. Nope, it's fine. I just put one latch on for now. Let's turn this thing on and... Uh, Check the controls out. Okay, our credit boards are lit up. They're not gonna do anything because they're on free play, so. So now we just need to see if these work. Let's just hit the uh, left start button here. Let's hit the right start button. 
I don't know if I did that right or not. Probably didn't. That's all right. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I put it on two players, so what button? Got to hit the B button. Okay. Do we have sound? Gotta wait for it to count down. That's kind of gay. Got a little bit of work to do to the monitor still. I don't think we have sound. Awesome. Why is there no sound? I put my joysticks backwards. Up is down, down is up. See if this one's the same way. Yep, I put those joysticks in upside down. Because I wasn't, uh... Oh wait, now I have sound? What the heck? Get the... <laughs> Went the wrong way. So, I gotta open this back up and flip these joysticks around. Um, I think I just, well, I'm probably gonna have to change all of them. Probably gonna have to unscrew them. Because right's going to be left and left's going to be right now. Unless I just pull the wires. Yep. Okay. Or if I could just pull the wires and rotate them. Rather than unscrewing them all and taking them all apart. So basically... I don't even know if you guys could see the screen before. but So I need to take this one here and swap it for this one here. So this one comes over here. And this one goes on the other side. And then uh, switch the other two wires around. That's easy enough. Okay, now that one's right. So I'm gonna do the same thing over to this one. Swap the wires around. They had the ground wire on the wrong one. On all these they do. Common should be the green black wire. I huh, wonder why they did that. Must have just screwed up whoever did it. Yeah, the sound doesn't seem right. I noticed that last night, early well, last night, that. Uh, the sound doesn't always want to come on, and I don't know what the reason is behind that yet. But let me see if this is fixed. That hinge needs some oil or something. All right. Uh, I know this joystick's working because I tried it before the end of that game. Definitely got to do a little bit more work to the monitor. Um, the uh, convergence is a little off as well. Okay, let me check this up, down, forward. I don't know how to... I don't remember how to play this game. I'm trying to see if all these buttons work. Yeah, we don't have sound. Let me turn it off and back on. You know what? I'll bet you I know why we don't have sound. I bet you those cartridges need to be pushed down more. 
or maybe they still need a cleaning. Even though it hasn't been used, it might have gotten some sort of corrosion or something on it. Um, let me hit the start button and see if we have sound. Okay, I heard sound there. We might need to, I might need to just clean those slots out. Because I think all this should have sound. Nope. Z80 Air. I wonder if that's because I pushed it down while the game was on. Just try it one more time here. Now we have sound. So I think those, those uh, slots are a little dirty. Okay, so I know that these are working. I know the buttons are working and everything. So now, um, I guess we can put the team molding on and then we just gotta put the coin door on and then button up some wiring and stuff. And then I just gotta do some minor adjustments to the monitor and stuff like that. But it doesn't look too bad. But the convergence are a little bit off. I did mess with them a little bit last night. I think they're still a little bit off. So, all right, let me uh, go grab my uh, rubber mallet and clean up a little bit, and then we'll put this T-molding on. Okay, now this T-molding goes all the way down the back and all the way down the front and across the top, obviously. Nothing on the bottom, though. So, um, probably start on this left-hand side here. Hopefully, I have enough T-molding. If not, I'm sure I have some more. This is just straight black T-molding. This is not textured T-molding. We're going to start on the bottom front and then go around the top all the way down the back to the bottom of the back. It wraps underneath maybe an inch. I don't know how long this roll is. Let's see if it says how many feet this was. 25 feet. I think I need two rolls. I think I got another roll, just regular black. So I'm just gonna let it long and I'll wrap that under afterwards. notch right here. Take a little notch out of it. Let me go see if I have more. 
If not, I'm going to cut that there and I'll and I'll splice in another piece because I know I have partial rolls, but I want to see if I have a full roll. Okay, uh, this piece of texture. This looks like it's plenty long enough to the other side, so I think we'll be good there. So I'm going to go ahead and continue down this back here. And if we have to splice the other side on the back, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not a big deal. We'll just use what's left over from this piece on the bottom of the other side back if I have to. So basically I just need to go down the back here and then cut it off. And then we can put the other side on. And then I just need to wrap the bottom inch or so. in here uh, that bottom of that cabinet's a little soft right there so I'm gonna just cut it flush with the back it just won't wrap underneath that's fine okay I have a big piece left over from this side if I need it for the back of the other side. So now we can throw on this side. Same thing, we'll start on the bottom. Let it hang down. I might just cut this one flush too. I might just not wrap it underneath the bottom of these. Because the bottom, this is a particle board and the bottom Apparently, I've has gotten a little bit wet at one point, and I don't know if hot glue will really stick. This one you have to cut a notch. If not, it starts pulling out of that back corner. Might have to use a little hot glue right up in here. This restore is going rather quickly. Jamma games are usually less involved. They don't have as much going on. This corner is fighting me a little bit. I'm going to cut it.
put on the way there. I'm just cut this off. Okay, that side's done. This uh, bottom, I'm just going to cut so I find where I put my knife at. Do I pick it up or do I stick it behind there? How did I lose my knife? Oh, here it is. All right. Yep, just cut that on a slight angle so it doesn't grab on anything. It'll be just fine. Okay, beautiful. So now we have that done. So basically now we just need to button up some wiring on the inside of the cabinet and um, put the coin door on. So I think I'll end part six here. The next video will be the final video of this one. We'll put the coin door on and... Uh, wrap up some of the wiring on the inside just screw it all down and everything which i'll probably do some of that off camera because you really can't see in there very well um but other than that guys this is going to end part six of the neo geo it is currently working i'm waiting on that one more uh cartridge to come so that we can get uh bust a move working and then all four games will be working and like i said i don't know how often i'll really change these games out i'm sure eventually i'll get some more cartridges and stuff um but for now i'm gonna leave these ones in for a while so, all right, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Other than that, I will see you guys later.